everyone, it's Kidu and it's pajama time and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Yuri Laws Lobel? Yuri Laws Nendroid from Good Smell Company. I did order him directly from Good Smell but this time he did not come with any bonus items like some of the other Nendroids do. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm really excited for his figure. I really want that altar figure of him the original one they made like a while back but for some reason they haven't re re um re-released him at all which makes me really sad although altered is making another figure called like the holy knight version or something and i do have that one pre-ordered um unfortunately it's like really really expensive and i believe it's right now scheduled to come out in september so you guys can look out for that unboxing when he comes out just gonna move that out of the way. This is how he is packaged. We have his two face plates here. We have some little ribbony. I don't even know what those are for. Oh, they're just the. Oh, it's his handle for his sword. He holds a sword with that. So that's this one here. And then we have another long one that does what? What does it do? Oh, it hangs in the back when he's holding his sword over his back. Uh, da 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 da. He's super cute. And then here's his sword, and here is the... Oh, here's the sword sheathed, and then here's the sword um, out. And then here we have a, like, attack motion thing. Ignore that I'm looking over here. Of course... Oh my goodness, that is different. He has a bunch of extra arms, but I noticed they are not packaged here. They're actually packaged in with the base. Like, they're all right here, which is super odd to me. I've never seen them do that. So let's take the base out. Um, it should just be a standard base. Again, I am very weirded out that they just put all of his arms in here. I guess it saves space. Um, I was concerned for a moment, but they're each packaged in their own little plastic section. So it's not too big of a deal. Um, they're not going to get scratched up or like get paint transfer on them because they're all separated from the plastic. So that's nice. Uh, I would have preferred them actually in the case properly though because that way when you open these like they're gonna be open and they're gonna be ripped at that point where here you just have an actual like slot to put them all in so that makes me a little sad he comes with his extra neck piece like i understand why they did it save space especially if he comes with so many accessories but i'm just not a huge fan so here's his extra uh neck joint here's an extra different leg pose here is his crossed arms here is a grippy hand. Here is another hand in this position. And here is the last extra arm piece here. With this, I believe, is the over-the-shoulder holding of the sword is what it looks like. Here is the base, and the base also comes in its own little plastic. And I see it is a standard base, but it does come with a different joint to hold him up. So this one is a little different than normal. And then we also have another um, like holder stand thing that's going to be holding the, I'm pretty sure it's going to be holding the fighting effect thing. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Let us open him up from here. So here's the one little ribbon piece. The other little ribbon piece that hangs from the sword when he holds it over his shoulder. Here's his like <laughs> glaring kind of snarky looking face or like bored. I don't know. He looks unimpressed when he's quipping with his um, party members, which is cute. And we have his angry face here. Again, I apologize for the brightness. It is very hard to see anything. He's so cute. I'm so happy they made an ender to him. It makes me very, very happy. Here is the attack effect. And then right here would be the peg that you put the... Holdy arm. Makes no sense. I wonder if they're going to start doing this with a lot of the other nandroids. Or if they're just doing it with him because he had that extra attack effect thing. And it's taking up a lot of space in his box. Here is his sheathed sword. Here is his unsheathed sword. Again, so I keep looking over here. I'm using my iPad and it's really weird to film with. 
Here is the boy. Here is the good boy. He has plastic in between his torso and under his clothes here to keep paint transfer from happening, which is nice. And then we have plastic in front of his face plate and hair to keep his hair from transferring paint onto his face plate. We'll get that off. This is what he looks like bald in the front. And the seam looks like so. It's a pretty noticeable seam, but that's just the way his hair is styled. He looks so cute. I love him. Um, if you guys are interested, I will do a closer look and link that in the description below as well so you can see him up close and all the details of his outfit and whatnot. And then you'll see how I pose him and all of that. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely check that out. I'll also link my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. Thank you guys so much to those of you who've done it before and to those of you who will do it in the future. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I'll also link my social media in the description below as well. So Facebook, Twitter, uh, my figure collection, which you can message me on or add me as a friend. It also, you'll also be able to see all of the figures that I have on order currently um, to see what kind of videos I'll be making in the future if that interests you. I'm trying to get back on track with all my videos. It's just kind of hard when you've not been doing them regularly. Anyways, yeah. This was his figure unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out all the links in the description below. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to look at the camera more often. I'm really bad at it because I want to look over here so I know that I'm what I'm showing is on camera. Anyways, thank you very much. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.